Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Debbie and I focus on DIY style and beauty. And today's video is a style video. It's an undeniable fact that I'm obsessed with blazers. So today's topic is five must-have blazers for every woman. So I've been getting a lot of questions about what kind of blazer should I buy, what cuts, and so on. So today I'm going to show you the five blazers that you need in your closet when you decide to build your blazer collection. And all the blazers I'll be wearing are from Atafo, a Nigerian brand, which is one of my favorite brands when it comes to blazers. So let's jump right into this. First and foremost, you need a black blazer. A black blazer goes without saying. You can wear it to work, you can dress it up, dress it down, however you want. You just cannot start a blazer collection without having a black blazer. Like, you can never go wrong with a black blazer. So, for me, black blazer, I can pair it with jeans, I can pair it with a skirt, I can pair it with leggings, and you're good to go. So, that is your first blazer for your collection, a black blazer. The, another hack with blazers is if you don't find you know if, if you can't find a feminine one what you can do is look in the men's section you definitely find a very cute cut that will work for you so that's it for number one let's move to number two the plaid blazer will take you miles because this is where you get to explore your neutrals because you can get the gray plaid you can get a brown you can get tan whichever one you want. The thing with plaid is you can also wear plaid blazer to work and you can also dress it down. You can pair it with a slip dress and just put it over your shoulder. You can you can pair it with jeans. You can pair it with like a mini skirt, however you want it. It's, it's like, that's where you get to play with your neutrals. So your grays and your browns and you're good to go. So second must have blazer in your closet is definitely a plaid number. Must have blazer number three is your pop of color. A pop of color is your one stop shop to statement making perfection. Just pick any color, any shade. There are no restrictions. It can even be pastels. This is my pop of color. And then I also have some pastels as my pop of color. So if you're not really into bright, bright colors, you can warm yourself up to you know the pastels which are a bit soft and then if you're really bold you can go for your pink and your red but you definitely need one blazer in your collection that is bright or that has color so must have blazer number four is your white or cream blazer i personally think you need to lighten up your blazer collection a little bit because white or cream is like a really soft look even when you're trying not to do too much it's like it's it's how you just look expensive it's so light and it's so easy going the, the little thing can just make the outfit look so sophisticated so i think yes you need a white or a cream blazer in your collection it's such a clean look pair this with denim and you look nice with shorts you look nice there's just something about it i feel like even when you wear the skimpiest thing and you just have like a white or cream blazer over it it just it kind of softens the look and makes you look you know very polished so you definitely need that in your blazer collection let's move on to the fifth one the fifth must-have blazer, I like to call it the hero piece, is that piece where when you're ready to stand out, you put on. So with the hero piece, it's like your non-traditional blazer. It can be structured, it has a cinch at the waist, it can be a crop blazer, it can be embellished blazer, it can be, it's just not your regular blazer that you wear on a day-to-day -day. it's what you wear when you want to stand out i for one i'm really attached to the crop blazer and then i also have um this embellished one which which i think is really nice for like a night out i've seen some with like really exaggerated shoulders 
the crop jacket. I mean, it's endless. I've seen a whole lot. So you definitely need a hero piece. So that can be your fifth addition to the collection. Normally, I would end at five, but I'm just going to add a bonus. I think it's very important to have a full suit, which is a matching blazer with the trousers, because when you look at it this way, you can actually style them differently. There are days where you can wear the blazer on its own and then there are days where you can wear the trousers on its own. So that will be your bonus. After you're done getting your five pieces, your five must-haves, throw in a full suit so you can benefit from styling it in different ways. So we have come to the end of your must-have blazers. I hope this helps you when you start building your blazer collection and you don't have to buy things that you don't need. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this whole series. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.